Alright, so, if you ever wanted to control something with an old RC car receiver and remote, well, today I'm going to show you. Alright, so I took apart the remote of an RC car here, and I got the main board. Sorry, this is in such low detail. Um, because I'm using my webcam here. Um, as you can see, the uh, joysticks would have fit in the slots here and in here. Now there's four buttons, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Or right there. Okay, so I'm going to hack into these buttons. <coughs> Solder wires down to the contacts of the switches. And the wires will come up to larger buttons. And I'll just drill a hole for this wire to go out. Solder in power connections to these two terminals right here. And enclose this in a little project box. And have larger buttons along the top of the box up here. So when I press the buttons, it'll do it. But I want to have each button control a different relay. So, the way I'm going to do this, just set that over to the side for now, and we'll grab the receiver. So this is the receiver right here. Simple board. It's got an H bridge, some trans transistors, all kinds of circuitry. i got my power connections right here. Okay, so now what you want to do is you'll find your leads here, and these leads go to the motor. <clears throat> now, if you want to have those independently, these switches from this one right here, control four relays off of these two signals, how would you do it? It's really quite simple. On every lead, you solder a pair of diodes. One diode will go that way, and the other diode will be coming then this way and do those to each one and if you look at it and if you think about it you can see how that would work when it's when because these reverse if you press such as let me just demonstrate this if you press this button it'll go forward and this one it'll go backwards okay so and that'll control these two wires right over here alright so if you go forwards it'll go out the brown wire and into the blue wire right in here now if you have diodes that will do that, a diode that will go out the brown wire to your relay and then another diode coming in from the relay into the blue one and that will work now if you reverse the diodes so one goes in this way and one goes out the blue one and in the brown one then you can control two relays off of this one cable right here from this RC. This RC car cost me 15 bucks. Bought some diodes off eBay for a steal. So once I get this wired up I'm going to be putting it on my robot to control many other uh, functions. So I'll have four different functions that I can use. So I may even be able to put um, switches on here um, in order to turn it on and off, and I might put a key switch on so you can't um, do anything after, um, you know, after uh, if you, somebody, if you don't want somebody to do it, you just put a key switch on it to keep it from happening. Uh, thank you for watching this video.